Um, <clears throat> when I think about giving my testimony, off, unfortunately, often I default to what happened to me in 1987 with my cancer and brain cancer, testicular cancer, lymphoma, all this, all this disease, how God miraculously healed me. And that's a great testimony. And that's a testimony that I tell all across. And, and that's wonderful, God's, God's grace and mercy and healing and all. Amen. But when I was thinking of giving my testimony, it just didn't fit for me to come up and talk about that. I couldn't understand why. And then I was inspired to understand that the Lord was sharing with me that this is not when you were healed. Your testimony is when I saved you, when I came unto you. It was 1973. I was at a fairgrounds of a sort in Sydney, Ohio, uh, Shelby County Fairgrounds. And I'm watching these people out there having a big festival, and there's a big football game going on, the West versus the East or something like this. And, you know, in 1973, I was dressed perfectly for the John Travolta, you know, staying alive, staying alive, you know, it was uh, all about John Travolta, that time period in life, right? So <clears throat> I had my long pants on, the, you know, the, the uh, cuffs up to here and the big platform shoes and all that kind of good stuff. And the, the long hair. In the long hair. I, I had hair back then, yeah, too. It was really <laughs> just a great thing. I've seen you know? a picture. Yeah, yeah. So... So I came into this event because my brother and my mother said, come on down, you got to come to this thing. So I went down there unwillingly. But when I got there, all of a sudden, I, I looked out over this crowd of people, and they just had this totally different energy, atmosphere. Bless you, God bless you, how are you, God bless you, and all this talk going on. And I'm sitting here watching this football game and just wondering what this is all about. And all of a sudden, a gentleman, they're having a stage being set up for the evening's event, and this gentleman is practicing. He came up on the piano, and he starts singing this song called Happy to Be Home Again. And uh, as soon as those words entered my mind, it was like a light switch almost physically turned on in my life. And... I heard these words, I literally fell to my knees, and you don't do those in that expensive of pants, but it was a, a moment that I just fell to my knees and started to cry, which was not my nature at the time. Um, and the Lord just welcomed me home by this song called Happy to Be Home Again. And the journey since that point, the journey, the 30, 40 year journey so far. It's been such a blessing. This relationship, this threefold relationship with my wife, my God, our God, and my life. And it's been such a wonderful relationship that built and built and built over decades of time. And God has never, ever, ever denied us. He has always been with us through the terrible times, you know, of, of health issues and what have you um, he was always there for us he has never let us down and my testimony is just our story it's a, it's a story of a journey of a relationship that we wanted to stay faithful every decision we made in our life that was substantial from when we would get married I always went to a man of God and said so what do you think should we get married and well of course you need to get married so when do you think we should well I, well, I think she should go to to a college for us. So I went to this college program for a year and came back. What do you think? Well, you he says, oh, you're not married yet. So we got married with the blessings of a man of God. We then moved uh, with my company with the blessings of a man of God. I then moved to a place uh, from there into North Carolina with the blessings of a man of God. And then I moved to upstate New York to a place called Latham something New York. <laughs> I called this organization and said, so where is the headquarters for the group up here? And it was Latham, New York. So I called my boss, and he, I said, I'm moving to Latham, New York. And he says, where is that? I said, I don't have a clue, but that's where I'm moving to. It, because I wanted to be around the activities of God. And my wife and I have, you know, we're not the smartest apples on the tree, <clears throat> but we know who our God is. <laughs> And that's all we need to know. And he's always kept us safe and sound. So that's my testimony. I love you very much. God bless you.